thank everyone for coming out this morning because yeah. we do know that this is a day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we ought to rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Yep. Amen. Amen. We ought to uh, I want to just recognize the families that are uh, fighting the good fight of faith yeah. concerning the coronavirus. Amen. Um, it's too many to even mention by name, but you know who you are. God knows especially who you are. And you keep fighting a good fight of faith. Amen. Right. Right. Uh, stay cautious. That's right. Stay protected. And be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. I want to thank uh, all of you that are out there on Facebook, man. I thank you for being online with us today. Uh, could you get my life back on, please? Uh, uh, and make sure that we are uh, keeping you in prayer as well. Amen. Uh, I know a lot of you out there are suffering uh, from uh, this coronavirus as well. Family, loved ones, friends, maybe even some enemies suffering from it. But nevertheless, uh, God is still God. Yes, he is. Uh, yes, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, I ask that you would sow a seed. Amen. You could sow a seed, and people don't believe you. You're not buying uh, blessing because you can't buy blessing. That's right. But if you could sow a seed, maybe things would turn in your life. If this ministry has been a blessing to you, you can use the Giveify app, download it, look for Kingdom Builders Christians in the church, or you can use the cash app, which is dollar sign KBCCC55. That's dollar sign KBCCC55. Amen. 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 There is a word from the Lord. And if you are keeping. Uh, nope. Uh, I'd like, like for you to turn to the book of Romans. Amen so that we don't get any interference much we ask that the music be turned off please thank you Romans the third chapter verses 24 25 and 26 and I'm going to read it from the uh, English standard version okay Amen. it says that we and are justified by the grace as a gift. Grace is a gift, okay? Through the redemption that is in Christ, Jesus. When God put forward as a appropriation by his blood to be received by faith. I love how faith is in that. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over former sin. It was to show his righteousness at the present time, which is right now, so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has watched his faith in Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're talking about faith. I want to talk a little bit today about, and you may be sitting in the presence of God, wake up your potential. Okay. All right. Amen. Okay. You need to wake up your potential. Okay. The truth of the matter is by God's spirit, and, and I, I, I got to put this forward, a lot of people in church don't believe that God talks to people in church. Amen. A lot of people in church don't believe that God talks to the preachers Amen. in church. Amen. But God talks to the preachers. Amen. And you got to learn to wake up where you can hear what he's saying. All right. All right. You, the preacher and the congregation has to wake up yeah, to hear what the Spirit of, the, of God is saying. Right. He is talking to us every day. Amen. Yes, Amen. God, by His Spirit, shows you how to harness and unleash the power of the kingdom of God that lives inside you. Amen. Right. There's nothing that you can't do once you awaken and unleash your potential. All right. Here's the good news. You're going to hear this part of it today. The potential that God has given you has already been downloaded in you. All right. That's it. And the only reason it has not come to pass, I got a feeling it's still rendering. All right. Amen. So you might want to, you might want to tweet this. There is no redemption 
without provide provisions, without divine provision. You cannot, God is not going to redeem you and not give you some provision, right. provisions. Right. He's going to give you back what been stolen. Yes, God. Right. Exactly. Yes, yes. Amen. So God has a redemptive work that's very, very important. Now, I'm just going to just hit the highlights from the a five purposes of God's work of redemption. He redeemed you for a reason. Yes, sir. Now, according to 1 Corinthians 15 and 25, and 1 John 3 and 5, one great design of God is that after he redeemed you, you can't be unredeemed. Come on. Right. Amen. Amen. He redeemed you for a purpose. Right. He redeemed you so he could subdue the enemies that are attacking you. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. The second thing he designed uh, to restore you was the ruins of your life. You know, your life sometimes is in shambles. Yes, yes, yes. God will restore you back. Yes, he right. will. Yes, he will. Right now, in this day of time, our lives are in shambles. Yes, right, right. 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 Dealing with the things in life. Yeah. But God has already redeemed you. All, not will, already has. Yes. And he provided a way for you to get ahead. Yes. Amen. God aims to bring all the elect creatures in heaven and earth into one union. God is fit for us to be on one accord. Yes, God. Let me make that clear for y'all to listen in the audience and for y'all on Facebook. It didn't say come out of one denomination. Right. It didn't say come out of one building. It's to have the mind of Christ. That's it. All right. Amen. We're in the same army. We ain't got no fear to be shooting each other with friendly fire. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. God. Also, the other purpose is to advance the elect to all, uh, to an exceeding pitch of glory. Now, what God is, God said, I'm going to restore you because I want to be glorified. Yes. Uh, Don't think when you get back to being redeemed, you did it on your own. Yep. Come on now. Come on. Okay. No, no. Okay, how much education you got, you didn't do it. Yes, sir. Okay, how much you been in church, you didn't do it. Right. Okay, how you been called to do what you do in church, that ain't, you didn't do it. Yep. Don't fool yourself. Amen. Amen. And then the fifth thing, God desires to come to the glory of the Godhead. He wants the Godhead. Right now, watch this. In the Old Testament, God got the glory. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. New Testament, Jesus got the glory. Jesus got the glory. Right now, Holy Spirit getting the glory. Yep. Yes. You can't do nothing right now without the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You can't do Amen. nothing worthwhile right now without Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So the redemption plan, God has in place already. Amen. Now I want, now I, I want to get off into this because I don't know, I really don't know what all the spirit of God had for us today. So uh, you know, I, I hope you're not in too big word. All right. Because I'm not. Right. I want, I want to, I want to, I want to put this out here to you. Your identity has a lot to do with your inheritance. Okay. Amen. Uh huh. I'm going to say that again. Your identity has a lot to do with your inheritance. Okay. See what? The reason the devil got a lot of the church folk do, they don't know who they are. Right. All right. They, they have not identified themselves. Amen. See, the, the, the sad part about that is Satan has already identified who you are. Yep. That's why he attacked you. Right. But you don't know enough about yourself to know who you are. Amen. That's when you can't fight back. Yep. Let me Amen. Stay on course. Let me stay on course. Y'all know the story about the prodigal son? Yep. Amen. The son that came back and got his inheritance. Yep. Okay, got his inheritance. Yeah. Remember, he asked for what he wanted. Yep. Went out and messed it all up. Yep. And came back and got some more. Got some more. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. He was redeemed. Yep. Amen. Okay, okay. Sure. See what? Even with a whole pen experience, he realized who he was. Sure. He, the Bible said he came to himself, or he identified himself. Right, sure. right. He identified who he was. He said, I forgot who I was. Yes. Amen. Yep. Amen. So what? But what? Even when you get ready to get your inheritance after you identified yourself, rest assured you're going to have some haters. Yep. Uh -huh. You're going to have some haters. The, the prodigal son had a hater called Elder Brother. That's right. <laughs> His elder brother hated on him. Yep. 
See, watch. When the, when the, when the prodigal son came back, daddy threw a party. Yep. Come on. Okay, okay. I ain't talking about out there in Facebook, man. I'm talking, I'm talking to the king of the building. Yeah. He, he threw it for the eight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know y'all like him. Yeah. They ate. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what they ate, but they ate. Yep. They had a party. Yeah. And then the, the elder son out in the field working. And he come back and he said, what's all that noise? They said, you know, you need to know your brother came back. He said, what? He came back here, your daddy's going to party. Going to party. <laughs> Uh-oh, hate rides up in there. Yep. Hate rides up in there. Daddy said, come on, share with his name coming in there. Yep. See, he done lost his identity. I ain't coming. Right. I, I done been working with y'all these years. I didn't go spend no money on no prostitute. I didn't spend no money on no hoe. I didn't go and gamble. I didn't do none of that. And you ain't never threw me a party. Right. Yeah. You never gave me a party, Daddy. Yes. He said, wait a minute. You with me all the time. You could have gave y'all some a party. Right. <laughs> you could have gave yourself a party anytime you want to. The reason you didn't, you could not identify who you were. Yes. You're already in the house where you can have anything you want. Anything you want. Already in the house. You're already in the house. Already Amen. in the house. Amen. And, you, and you looking and hanging on somebody else called we restoring somebody else. Yes. Church member like that. Yep. <laughs> Amen. Yep. So, so you gotta know who you are. Cause if you don't know who you are, Satan will whip you. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay, y'all don't believe that when you look. Acts 19, 13 and 14. Now, there were some itinerant or traveling from place to place people, Jew people, who were exorcists who tried to invoke or call on the name of the Lord Jesus over all those evil spirits back in the day. They were saying, I bind you in Jesus' name. Yes. The Jesus whom Paul preaches about. These were the seven sons of a preacher yeah. called Sceva. He was a Jewish priest, and they were doing this. Eventually, one of the evil spirits answered them and watched it and said, watch this now. You got to catch this. Jesus, I know. Yes. And Paul, I know. But who are you? Who are you? <laughs> so watch this. In the meantime, them spirits come out of the man and whip them. Yep. yep. See, the reason they whipped them, they said, and if Jesus Paul preaching about, they didn't know nothing about it. Yes. They didn't know, no, they didn't know their identity. I told you earlier, Satan will whip you when you don't know who you are. Yes. yes. You better get for real. You better, you better get up to date and find out who you are. Yep. Come on. You ain't, listen, I know they told you you would never be nothing. Yep. Yep. I know, I know you, you can't, you know you thought you'd never get a good job. I know you think you would never get a husband, a family, a wife. I know you think the ministry would never grow, but you better upgrade yep. your thinking. <laughs> All right, and know that God is able yep. to do exceedingly abundant above all that you have to think. Yeah. You got to understand when you get your thinking upgraded, what the devil meant for bad, God will turn it yep. for your good. Yes, yep, yep. Yeah, amen. See, the devil knows when you don't know who you are. Yeah. That's why you always don't, don't get no, don't, don't strike me, no letters, don't email me, don't text me. I ain't got my phone, so you can't text me. I can't get it. Don't get mad because you don't know who you are. Yes. And that's the reason you're going and catching the blues. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Everything, Lord, have mercy. When you going to we'll start working in grace? Yes. The grace of God is there for you. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Come on, grace. Mm -hmm. and let's watch this. You can call on grace as a sheep. Mm -hmm. Grace. Yes. Call her. Yeah. Grace. Grace. Instead of mercy. Yep. Mercy getting beat up all the time. Call yeah. grace. 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 Oh, grace. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Grace. Yes, grace. 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 Grace.
Grace will make you feel good. Yes. Grace will walk with you. Yes. Grace will make a way for you. Yes, yes, yes. Grace is there. Yep. Grace look good. Yeah. Grace, yes, grace. Oh, grace. Oh, grace. See, the natural <laughs> can't cast out spirits. Right. No, I can't. That's why the more got will. Amen. See, look, it don't pay you to come to church just to be coming. Yes. Uh-uh. You better come and get the power. Yes. But when you go back out there, well, he already did too. Yeah. Because you brought it. Yeah. You got to learn to work on him and him or go back out there. You got the problems waiting yep. on him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, here, and here's the thing about we got to understand. Oftentimes, we, we think we love him at the house. Yeah. Because he's in the house. Yeah. That's like the house messed up. Yeah. You don't know how come the church so empty and jacked up? Yeah. House is jacked up, yes. home is jacked up, yep. family is jacked up. Yep. That's why. Yep. Parents ain't doing, ain't being parents, children ain't being children. Yep. That's why it's jacked up. Yep. Parents think they can do the kids in the kind of way, kids think they can do the parents in the kind yep. of way. That's why it's jacked yep. up. You don't know who you are. Yes. Amen. Yes. See, when you when you're in the natural, natural man hands on the sick, they ain't gonna recover. Yes. Yeah. It's by God's spirit that we call it. Amen. All ain't gonna make you better, but yes. it's God to bring them in the norm with all. Yes. All is a representation of the spirit of God. Yeah. If you receive it, I ain't gonna do no good no way. Right. I can dump you in 55 gallons of all. If you ain't gonna receive it, it ain't gonna help you. That's right. Yes. That's right. It ain't gonna help you. Just be greasy. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The spiritual that the spiritual inheritance that you have. And you got to get to that point that God is my father. Yes. You got to get to that point. Yeah. Father God in heaven is my daddy. Yeah. And my daddy owns everything. Yes. yes. He owns it. He owns it. Yeah. He owns everything. My troubles, he owns that. Yeah. He does. He got a solution. Amen. Yep. The devil doesn't own anything now here but trouble. Right. right. Amen. Yep. Say amen to that. Amen. 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 This is how you get your revelation. You need to get the Bible yes. and read it. Amen. Yep. <laughs> and you got to read it like you own what it's saying. Yep. Amen. That's your inheritance. Yes. But the, what's in the Bible is yours. Yep. Are y'all listening yes, to Yes, yes, yes. Come on now. Grace. You got to stop reading it like you're in the van. You read the Bible like, well, that's for somebody else. No, like you go, read it like you own the band. Yes. See, we spend a lot of time renting bands instead of trying to buy a band and rent. Yep. <laughs> if you knew who you were, you'd be trying to buy a band. Yep. And rent the band out. Yep. That'll pay for the band. Yep. No, but you're going to run the enterprise. Yep. Avis. Yep. All the other places. Amen. And rent the band. Then tell her how high it is. Yep. Buy a band and rent. Yep. Right. Then that's tell her that's how high it is. Amen. 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 You got to read the Bible like you all already was in there. It's your inheritance. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whatever you need, you can find it in the Word of God. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I know it may offend some people because some people hate to see you rise above and go higher than them. Yep. Come on now. You got some haters. Amen. Amen. Jesus had haters. Yep. Amen. Disciples had haters. Yep. Who are you? Yes. You've been a hater. <laughs> Amen. See, there are certain things that royalty that people shouldn't do. You are royalty. Yes. See, you didn't know that. Yeah. But if you knew that, you'd have told them something. Yeah. You are royalty. Amen. Okay, okay, let me help you. God is our Father. Yep. Our Heavenly Father. Yes. Okay? He made it plain in His Word. I am the King of Kings. Yep. Yes. Lord, Lord of Lord. Lord. Yep. So if you're in the family, you got to be royal. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come on now. You yep. know what that means? If your dad is the King of Kings, you, you, you got to be a princess or a prince. Yep. <laughs> Come on. You're in the family. Yeah. Right. right. You ain't in the castle yet. Amen. Come on, Megan him ain't in the castle. Yep. But dude, still Prince. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He know where his inheritance is. Yep. 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 Come on, he just, he just got outside the comfort zone yep. of the castle. Yep. 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 Y
Yeah. And make the folk when he realized who he was uncomfortable. Yep. He broke the routine, if you will. Yep. Come on, y'all, y'all follow me. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come on, but he still know who he is. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. And when he gave him all the money, he gave him some of it. Yep. <laughs> and he gave it all up. He, he didn't let go of the title. Yep. Not push them to show. Amen. Amen. See, we shouldn't continue being borrowers and not lenders. Yeah. Amen. I'm talking about your potential. Yes. Yeah. See, you're thinking too small. Yeah. Right. You gotta think big ministry. Yeah. You gotta think successful marriage. Yeah. You gotta think great great kids. Yep. You gotta think. All you need to that. You got to think that. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 We shouldn't keep talking about, talking negative and complaining about COVID. Why don't we pray that COVID get out of here? Get out of here. Amen. Get out. Oh, everybody catching it. Why are you talking yesterday? Yep. That's it. That's right. Go. Hey, you ain't got it. I know it. I know they ain't going to let you in the hospital. Walk around the hospital. Yep. Pray. Amen. COVID be gone. The name in Jesus' name. No, not another evidence coming from anybody got COVID. Amen. Amen. What you got to lose? That's right. And you see somebody coming, put your mask on. Yep. Amen. Right. You got it? I'm not telling you to take this shot. I'm telling you to pack the precautionary measure. Yep. Right. Come on now. Yep. Okay? See, my point is this. If you want to look at Romans, I mean, not Romans, I'm sorry, Psalm 82, 1 and 2. So, so you know, the devil, let, let, let's go there. Let's go to Psalms 82. Because I think it's better if you read it, right? All right. <clears throat> let, me, let me get there. I don't intend to go there, but I'm going to go there anyway. Psalm 82. I don't know about them out there in uh, Facebook land, but it's hot again. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where y'all living in. That's it. They're living in Alaska somewhere. Amen. Down here is humid in Tennessee. Amen. Amen. Psalm 82, 1 and 2 says, God stands in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. He judges among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Now, this way he says that. How long, church? How long? How long, church? Yeah. Are you going to stand by and just watch wicked come and go? Yep. Right. yep. How long? How long? How, wait a minute. Let me, let me help you with this. How long you going to keep on watching doing unjust things in your own life? Yep. How long you going to keep letting wicked come? How long you going to keep practicing and seeing in your own life? How long? Yep. Now, let me help you with something. In more than seeing it, that drinking in a second, you can be thinking wrong. Yep. You can be too lazy. Yep. Yeah. That's right. You can be uh, having too many excuses. Amen. Yep. Yeah. So what are you talking about here? I'm talking about God said, I'm tired of it. It's time for watch this. It's something you ain't never heard before, probably. It's time for vengeance and recompense. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I, 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 I ain't talking about revenge. Right. right. You know you got you know y'all like to get both back. <laughs> yep. See, this has to do with the justice of God coming out of the heart of God for his love of justice. God wants justice. See, when you, why not? I ain't talking about the justice system we have now. When you look at the justice system you have now and you see what locked up, all you find is just us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, amen. 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 Just us ain't got a chance in the legal system. Yes, just yes. us ain't got no justice. Yep. Right. I'm just being real about this. Amen. Be real about this. God knows that the world just, that in this world, justice has to get to what it needs to be. Amen. If not, evil going to keep being evil. Yep. Well, I think if justice, if the, God, if the justice of God don't hurry up and come on the scene, you think it's bad now? Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. You think, you think COVID is running rapid now? Yep. Don't let God just come on the scene. Amen. 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 I hope y'all hear what I'm saying. And you know, and I know that the justice of God can't be justice without the law. See, the only way you will have justice, you got to have a law in place. Yes. Amen. Okay, let, let, let me end with this. See, there are a lot of laws on the book that ain't worth a quarter. Yep. 
But the only way you can have, you can get a chance, you got to have justice to come in. Yeah. Amen. There are a lot of laws. That's why, okay, okay, oh, let me, I ain't going to get ahead of myself. I ain't going to get ahead of myself. So you got to have laws. Watch. This is why law is important. One of the primary functions of the enemy is to govern humanity or mankind is to attack the legal system of the earth. That's it. Okay, watch. The reason that the legal system or the government is so messed up, or the legal system is so messed up, is trying to get you pitted against one another. Amen. Amen. Watch this. The Bible says. A house divided will not, will not stay. stay. Amen. Yep. Okay, okay. You That's keep that right. In mind. You keep that in mind. What he's trying to do is make unjust laws and keep the church so carnal and so vicious that the church can't grow up. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, say with me. And rise up and call it what it is. Okay, I'm giving you an example. Okay, let me give you an example of what's right, okay, of, of the church, all right? I'm going to go back, because if I said something about some of y'all, y'all would get mad. Well. But I'm going to go back to our, 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 earth, our first earthly mother and father, talking about Adam and Eve. Amen. Can I tell you about Adam and Eve for a minute? Yeah. Listen, at, Eve did not eat her and Adam out of house and home. Right. She just got the seed. Yep. Right. Amen. She just got the seed. Yeah. And then what? And then... Adam, she gave to Adam, and Adam wasn't the seed. He just ate. Yep. Now, how's the body? Yep. Amen. They no longer with God. Right. Spiritually. Right. How's the body? Right. Right. See, that's what he does. That's what the legal system did. That's why he'll tell you, you will tell them kids, you can call 911. Right. Yeah. On your mom and dad. Child services. They ain't going to rear you. They're going to put you in a home where you're going to be showing up for you. Yep. Misused and misunderstood. Yep. Amen. She was deceived and gave them. The Bible said he was not deceived. What I'm trying to say to you people, people have done things in your life and to you because they were deceived. Yes, yes, yes. 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 You wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against wickedness. Okay, okay. People don't like you because they think it's a spirit that don't like your spirit. Right. Yep. Right. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I like that. Man. They, it, they ain't stuck you. Right. It's the spirit that doesn't got in them. Yep. Why do they get the spirit that's in you? Yep. Right. Your potential should be able to let that bother me. Yep. And I cried my last tear yesterday. Amen. See, you got, you got to know that they've been deceived. They're making laws to take the Bible out of school they have and replacing them with police and metal detectors. Yeah. See, all the laws with some justice need to come on the scene. Yep. And then what? Then you got the nerve, a parent, some of y'all, to run up to the school and set the school authority out. But your child cutting up. Yeah. Right. And I just lost everybody. Facebook gets cut off. Oh. Yeah, is it true? Yep. I can remember one time when I was called to the high school where I graduated from, and, and I was called up there to sit by the seat with, with a bunch of children crews on the mind. Yep. And they were just really, the parents and, the, and, the, and some of the students were just, just disregarding authority. Yep. Just breaking the law. Yep. <laughs> And I wouldn't let mine go down that road. Yep. I would even stand there and do it with them. I asked mine to apologize yep. where I kind of twisted their arm. They said I didn't do anything wrong. I said, no, we're going to apologize. And once we did the godly thing or the just thing, then favor came their way. Yep. Come on now. Yep. You got to do what's just and what's right to do in God. Amen. Right. Right. So right, and then right after that, after that, they got Holies and metal detectors. <laughs> yep. Amen. Amen. We got to understand that's why places of worship of Almighty God are empty. Yep. Amen. Okay, yes. watch this. You think it's just COVID the reason the place ain't packed. Well, come on with that. 
No, if the reason place ain't packed, it's because you're not standing for what's right, joining in the fight, being a soldier for Jesus. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, COVID is on the scene. Yeah. But that ain't why folks ain't here. Right. right. You ain't praying right. like y'all too. Oh, you sanitizing, but you ain't praying. Yep. All right. You ain't trusting God. Oh, you 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 praying for something distant, but you ain't you ain't getting closer to God. Right. See, that's why folks ain't here. You let laws govern you that are unjust. Yep. Amen. Leaders in the church, watch this, they're going to hurt some people right here, boy. Leaders of the church in general have sold out and allowed, watch this, lost and unbelievers to hold the church hostage. All right. Amen. You let any and everything come in here because you want to please folks. Yep. You want to please man, but you don't want to trust God. Yep. See, if you have to please man, you're going to get disappointed. Yep. Right. Yeah. Amen. You ain't got to like it, but it's true. If you try to please a man, you're going to get disappointed. But if you please God, God will direct your path. Amen. 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 You, you, you know, you, you, you're sitting, you're sitting back in there. Here's, the, here's one of the general excuses in the church. It's valid, but it's an excuse, and as, as it is anyway, you will say it. That, that what I'm praying about it. Well, the Bible says believe you receive when you when pray. When you pray. When you going to start believing. Yep. When you going to start acting on after you pray. Yeah. Let me pray about it. Then the Lord said, "Now nah, he had already told you, yep. stand for what's right. Yep. Amen. Yeah. Stand for what's right. Amen. So when we don't do that, we make Mark 11 and 24 have no weight in our lives. Right. We, 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 we just read it. Amen. Anything goes in the church now. Well. Anything. All right. There's no order. Amen. No order. Yep. Y'all may not believe this. Church has a spiritual side and church has a business side. Amen. The fact of the matter is, you can take the spirit and the business and put it together yeah. and do things right. Yep. Amen. Come on. Yep. Just because you're a member of the church, watch this, don't mean you're going to do the right thing. Right. right. Amen. That's why things have to be in line. Yeah. Right. They have to be policy and procedure. Yep. In God's kingdom, that's policy and procedure. Okay, you don't think of that? God, in my kingdom, this is how I do things, how I run things in my kingdom. They've done decent and orderly. Yep. In other words, that, that is a positive procedure. We're going to do it this way. That's why God told you, you can't get to my, that's why Jesus said, you can't get to my dad that you come to me. Yeah. Don't try to go around me, you can't get there. Can't get in. And you can't get around me in no way because I'm too wide. Yes. And they try to dig no tongue, I'm too low. Yes. And your show can't get tired enough. Amen. 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 No almighty God. No godly. More than that. If you ain't got God in your life, you ain't going to have no more than that. Amen. You'll stoop anything. Amen. When you follow anyone who's not following God, you will have chaos and persons in your life. A person in your life going to lose their life. It yes. may be you. Yes, Come yes. Come on. You got to follow. Listen, if you go, I'll use it I'll be back Wednesday. If you go follow me, you follow me as I follow the Lord. Yes, yes. yes. That's why you need to have your Bible when you read along with me yes. when I'm teaching you. I ain't going to teach you nothing but Bible. Yep. I'm not, watch it. Let me throw it out there. I'm not going to teach you everything you want to hear. Well. I'm going to teach you what thus says the Lord. Because right. what? People don't think, well, faith is, faith is in every area of your life when it comes to God. Yep. Well, I call faith pleases God. Amen. Amen. So what? When you don't have things in your, when you don't have a God in your life, an almighty God, that's why you got black on black crime. Yep. That's why you got police brutality. That's why you got systemic racism. That's why you got voting rights challenges. That's why you're putting black against white, white against Hispanic, Hispanic against Asian, white against Asian. That's why you got folks talking about, I ain't going to take the vaccine, I'm going to take the vaccine. Yep. Because the devil is done, God is splitting. Yep. Amen. Yes, Amen. Think about this for a second. God said, I'm just saying, so now some people said, God said, I got to take the vaccine. And then all a group of people said, God said to take the vaccine. So you mean to tell me God is schizophrenic? Yeah. He's going to tell some to take it and some not to take it? I'm just asking. Right. Amen. 
Amen. Think about it. Amen. The church is the enforcing agent of God. We represent the Lord. Amen. In royalty. Yeah. We are ambassadors. Amen. We represent Almighty God. The church has been quiet too long. Amen. Amen. We let too much stuff go. <laughs> I'll get it tomorrow. No, you need to get it today. Right now. Yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. You need to do it today. Right now. Amen. I'm going to get my life together. No, you do it now. Yes. You got it? Yes. We're the ones that need to say and stand and say that enough is enough. enough. Is enough. You may lose your job. Yep. But you stand for what's right. Yep. You may get put out of the church, yep. but you stand for what's right. Amen. Come on. You may not, you may have family members that don't want to deal with you anymore, but you stand for what's right. Stand for yeah. what's right. Stand for what's right, and God will redeem or restore you back. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 It's too many things going wrong that we stand for. We the tax system is jacked up. Yep. Ain't no way in the world all the people got all the money ain't paying no tax. Right. <laughs> and you worried about a little old stimulus shit. Yep. Right. Slavery all over the place. You ain't saying nothing about that. Yep. Yes, human and drug trafficking. You ain't talking about that. Right. Oh, come on. Same sex marriage. You allow that. Yep. Yeah. Gang banging. You don't mean you don't say nothing about that. The school system messed up. You ain't go to the PTO meeting. Yep. <laughs> but you complain about everybody. Yep. Some things just aren't right. Yes, right. Some things just aren't right. You have the potential in you right. to make it just. You're saying family is something, and some said it. I'm the only Bible somebody read when you need to flip a page. Yep. Because oh, oh, oh. <laughs> somebody needs to read more what they're reading. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Psalm 97. I put it by myself. I ain't got to be on you. Psalm 97, verse number 2. I hope I'm making sense to you, yes, sir. You got to wake up your potential. Wake up. Wake up. You know, uh, uh, I, I think it was a, the Blue Notes, wake up everybody. Yep. No more sleeping in bed. Yeah. No more backward thinking, time for thinking ahead. Yeah. Now, you can say that for sure. The world has changed so very much from what it used to be. It, what you used to know, you don't know no more. Right. About the world. The world has changed. Okay. Psalm 97, verse number 2 says, Clouds of darkness surround him, talking about God. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. What that says is right here, he said that God is lighter than anything else that's around him. Everything else is dark. Yep. If you're not close to God as you should be, you're in darkness. Yes, yes. God is light. Yes, yes. And him ain't no darkness. Yep. In other words, the closer you get to him, the better you'll see. Yes, sir. Yep. Yourself, the better you realize what's real in the world. Yep. Amen. Amen. Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. It's, it, and, 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 and it talks about um, it talks about what we're thinking, how people think, okay? Yep. Because Ecclesiastes, we got we gotta see what I say. Why can't you go? Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Ecclesiastes 8 and 1, because watch this. People have been so misled about things of this world. I promise you they have. The clean that thing that got stuck in my body. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's so that got stuck, y'all. Read it for me, somebody, from time. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A wise a man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the hardness of his face is changed. Okay, I'm going to read it again because y'all better heard of it. She said, who is like a wise man? And who knows the interpretation of a thing? Yeah. A man's wisdom makes his face shine, and the sternness of his face is changed. So what they're saying is just right there, watch. So some people think, it's okay to do evil. Right. Uh-huh. When they don't invoke justice. When you don't stand up for what's right. Okay, listen. I ain't tell you to get in everybody's business. Yep. But I, I can't go get it anyway. Yep. Right. You on Facebook and everybody's business. And some people try to get you to go to Facebook because they read a lot of mess. Yeah. 
Because some people like, they try to jump about it unless they read so they can keep reading. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she's like, did you read that on Facebook? <laughs> and then I already know you don't like it. Well, I know you don't, I know you ain't friend with it, but you know, you gotta read that all. Because it meant it's, it's, it's evil. They think it's okay and justice is vital to the kingdom of God's manifestation. When you learn to get justice in your life like God wants you, then watch this thing start to manifest in your life. Amen. Got this stuff. <laughs> See some stuff you okay, what? Okay, how what am I saying? Simple. Stay on Facebook for a while. Yep. If you ain't doing nothing, God to stay off it. Amen. I looked at Facebook the other day, and, and shortly I promise you I didn't know. I had 360 something friends. I said, how'd get all them friends? <laughs> I don't I, I probably hit, what is it, confirm or whatever. The, I, whatever you be hit, I probably hit, they don't even know what I was hitting. Yep. Some folks don't even know who they are. I be asking the lady, who is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they came friends, but I think I text my daughter and I said, who is this person they friend you? I said, I tell you. Nah, then when they said, I don't know, I said, delete. Because you don't need to friend everybody to tell you got a bunch of friends. <laughs> That's right. Ain't none of your friends away. All of them. I've got a friend that's sick to something that I can warn. That's you, doing. Yeah. That's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. See, you, 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 you got to stay out of that. Yep. See, you get drawn into that. See, what? Facebook can be good. Yep. But it'll draw you into stuff you ain't got. The devil in everything. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He'll get in everything if you let him. Amen. 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 You know, I mean, he will. Some, and, and some folks want you to fool everybody. <laughs> Man, you can't fool everybody. Go to Isaiah 61. Oh, God. I think y'all have been freeing them. I think I'm going to think about that. <laughs> Don't, don't just say, I told you so. You keep on doing what you're doing. 
Because they wait for you to retaliate like that, then they're going to come back with something else. Yep. You say, well, I told you, why did you tell me something? Don't say nothing. They say, when they say, you told nothing to do that, say, nothing. Don't say anything, okay? Okay. The day of business of our God is to comfort all in mourning. So business has nothing to do with I'm going to get you. Yeah. Right. What you done to me, I'm going to do to you. No, that's an eye for an eye. Yep. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You, you talk to me, hey, I'm going to talk to you, hey, but what are you going to No, don't you do it. They're going to read what they saw. That's don't right. you let them read it from That's you. Right. Amen. That's right. That's right. They're going to read that. You're talking, hey, but keep misusing somebody yep. and watch you get misused. Yep. Amen. Come on now. Amen. You, gotta, you can do right. Yep. Let me take a pay, uh, let me take a break on that. Y'all take two minutes of break, God. Oh. <laughs> two seconds. Amen. 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 Man, go to Luke 4. Because we gotta understand that God is gonna come and see about you before it's all said and done. Yes. All right. Come on now. Okay. Let God fight your battle. Yep. Come on, let, let God fight. Why tell you go down Luke the fourth chapter? Yep. Matthew, Mark, Luke, that go down. And uh, verses 19 and 20. Luke 4. I hope I'm helping you out today because I want you to wake up your opportunity. It's more on the inside of you than you let out. Right. I, I'm going to go back again. It, God, in the beginning, downloaded it in you. Yep. Open the app. Amen. Open your potential app. Yep. It works on. I don't care if you're an Android. Oh, yeah. Yep. I don't care if you're an iPhone. Oh, yeah. Yep. I don't care if you're only in. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Amen. 19. One verse 19, 20, and 21. Here you go again. Watch this. To proclaim that something you're the Lord. We're in the New Testament now. Then he brought this, then Jesus, then Jesus, and then Jesus closed the book and gave it back to the, the preacher and sat down. You see, he sat down. Right. And the eyes of all were fixed on it. They were looking at it. He ain't going to sit in there? That's right. He ain't going to sit in there. He, he, come on, Jesus, you didn't really read. He did sit down. And he began to say to them, today, the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all were witness to him. And marvel at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth, and they said, It is not. Is this not Joseph's boy? See, I can identify to a degree, but I'm going to show you this right here. Now, right here, when Jesus started to come on the scene and read this, because you heard it read in Isaiah, now vengeance of God starts. Okay. After he read that, here comes the love of God now. Yeah. You got it? Here comes the love of God. And vengeance stare starts where the latter rain in. See, it was the law that was raining. And now we're under grace. Right. All right. Grace comes out. And God going to do just what he said he's going to do. And watch this. Now, since we're under this latter rain, if you will, and all in this day, all the enemies of God's people, you God people. Right. You God people. Yeah. Come on, you God people. All will now be found. Anybody found coming against you, vision of the Lord will take place wherever they are. Yes, Amen. yes. Come on. Whatever now is messing with you, whatever now has been messing with you, whatever will continue to mess with you, God don't deal with them. Amen. Because it's the vengeance of the Lord. He going to love you enough to love them out the way. Yep. Yes. Come on, y'all. Amen. You got to get this. Whatever been messing with your destiny, you've been wanting some things from God, but the devil got you blocked from getting it. All you got to do is set back and let the business of God take place. Let the love of God reign in your life. That's it. Yes. Amen. Oh, man, I wish I could get this. Amen. God is going to start commanding vengeance upon them. Now watch. It don't make any difference what it is, where it is, or who it is, whether it's natural or spiritual, God gonna deal with it. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God gonna deal with it. He gonna get the potential out of you by loving you. Amen. God knows people are not the problem. It's demonic spirits 
of the devil and the system the devil has built up to try to re-regulate the hearts and minds of all the people that are in it. But you and I are in the world. Amen. See, the world messed up. Okay, how many of you know the world is messed up? Amen. The world is messed up. We are in the world. We're God's people, but we're not of the world. We're not going to do what the world do. We're going to do what the world say. Yes, sir. See, we got to do what the world doing because God's business is on the scene now. If we allow it in our life and let the material way in us, we can do better when we're doing Yes. See what? Most of them need to but most of them need adventures to take place. Why? Because Pharaoh had laws in place. Uh-huh. One law Pharaoh had said, you're going to make the same amount of brick with less straw. Right. And all you got to get your own straw. I bet not miss a talent. Right. See, that's the law in place. That was, that was, that was a unjust law. Right. How you going to make more or less? So God sent him down now to tell him, let my people go. In other words, God had to come in and assist Moses in what he had called him to do. What God has called you to do, he's going to assist you in doing it. That's right. Okay. That's right. Come on now. Whatever he called you to do, he's going to assist you in doing it. All you got to do is in your person, God, show me what it is you want me to do. Instead of all the human skills I'm praying about. It. Amen. It's all right to pray, but when you going to make a move? Right. Don't make your move too soon, and please don't be too late. He went down and said, Pharaoh, let my people go. Now what? If you don't, this is going to happen to you. If folks don't stop mistreating you and blocking you from your destiny, something's going to happen to them. Amen. You don't want to say amen? Folks be messing with you and you don't want God to do nothing about it? Amen. If whomever you are keep going against God, listen to this, y'all. In God's word, you're going to end up dead or in hell. Amen. Keep going and being disobedient to God's word, you will go to hell. All right. All Ain't no right. ifs, ands, or buts. You don't need no faith to go to hell. Yep. You need faith to stay out of hell. Yep. Amen. Amen. Right. You know, you said, oh, son, you can do bad by yourself? Now, see, now, what? Now, now, they what? Moses was so good. At first, Moses refused. And they're going to read this. Moses refused because he didn't want to go down there. But Moses was, and like me, just a mouthpiece. Because, see, some of y'all that like, I told you, if you don't keep this, if you keep this obeying God, you're going to hell. But it's the truth. Amen. It's in the Bible. Amen. If I didn't tell you, you're going to end up going. Right. Amen. Now you got to tell me something about it. Amen. Amen. He, what? Moses didn't hate Pharaoh. He was in the palace at one time. Not, not with this Pharaoh, but he was in the palace at one time. Ready to be a Pharaoh. Yeah. I don't hate you. Yeah. Right. Like Moses, I can love God. Yes. Yeah. To yeah. tell you the truth. Yeah. That's all Moses did. Moses said, Moses got it. Moses got that thing clear for you. He said, okay, God, now I'm going to go down here. Yeah. Now, who should I tell sent me? He said, you tell him I am sent you. All I'm doing is telling you what God said. The yes. Thus said the Lord. Yes. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to awake your potential. Yes, right. yes, yes. Amen. This is why God, why he was able to follow God, because he loved God's commandments. Yes. I love God enough to follow what few commandments I follow. Yes, Amen. yes. I'm only going to be faithful with a few things. Yes. If I stay faithful with a few things, he's going to make me rule over men. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 He, not watch. So with that said, that leads me to believe that the problem in the church is that somehow she has got out of her lane. Right. Well, yeah, well. Okay, stay with me. We think that, watch this, the education system is more powerful than the system of God. Okay. We think that. We think the gambling system is more powerful than the system of God. Well. I ain't talking about nobody. They tell me what I'm talking about. We think the corporate world system is more powerful than the system of God. 
Okay. We think our system plan, we have the more power than the plan that God has in the system. We need to revisit ourselves and remind ourselves and reboot ourselves to how the power of God is. God really is more powerful than anything in the universe. Amen. That's right. Yes, he is. You got to reboot your thinking to know that God is better. Yep. The God we serve. Yep. Watch this. Took a man, uh, took a boy by the name of David, slew a giant, and whipped the rest of the army. He took a stammering speaker by the name of Moses, told him to use what you got, and split the Red Sea. He took an idol worshiper by the name of Abraham to be the father of men, and he didn't have them. He took a drunk by the name of Noah to build a boat in a desert and free for 40 years and going to rain, but it never had rained before, and then it started raining for 40 days and 40 nights. Yep. He took a little more than lunch and fed 5,000 plus men yep. and women. Yep. He, took, he took Esther and to go talk to the king, and she wasn't even invited. Even though she wasn't invited, she was summoned, yet she saved the whole nation. Yep. Yep. Took Daniel and prayed. He told him to pray three times a day. Then he let him go out again. And then he did, and he was in charge of the then he made the king change his heart. Yep. And then he took three Hebrew boys and went on the fire in front of them, and all of them came out and none of them smelled like smoke. Yep. Yep. He took a Samaritan woman and met at the well and told her everything she's done, and then went and started a revival. Yep. <laughs> Amen. He took what he took. Uh, he tried to get in the ladder and gave him time to lay there and ride the stink and then told me to get up and go yeah. in. <laughs> amen, amen. He took time to rescue Peter from drowning out. He said he believed that he was the son of God. Yeah. Amen. He took time out from sleeping in his own boat and told us all, shh, be, be still. still. Amen, amen. He did it. God did it. So now, if we move into these latter days of the last day, we need to know that God has a shield around us. Yep. Amen. And anything that tampers with you, the Holy Spirit has been authorized to deal with. Yep. That's why you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit where you can deal with everything that comes in your life. Amen. Amen. That's why Isaiah 51, 17 said, said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. Any watch it. I love this part. Right? We don't know what we did, Every tongue, every tongue, They're every right. tongue, every tongue, tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt cast it down over yeah. there. God will say, you're wrong for talking yeah. Yeah. Amen. In Deuteronomy 7 1, you ain't got to go around. The enemies are mightier than we are. What enemies? Spiritual forces that you can't see. That's really acting the way you act. You can't see with your natural eye. You can't fill them with your natural hand. You can't touch them with your natural hand. You can't see them with your or hear them with your natural ear. They are there to stop you from reaching your destiny. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to tell you something. That ain't gonna make you shout. You probably gonna run out of the church. Because they're gonna truth. If I were to tell you that you're supposed to be farther along than you are in your life, you may object to that. Uh-huh. But if you ever get in this Bible and stay there and be led by the Spirit of God, then you would lay around all day long watching movies and TV yep. and playing games. And on social media, and always tired of doing nothing. That's why you can't get ahead. Well, but if you're led by the Spirit of God and let God Himself show you how you should already watch this, have your successful business, have your successful marriage, have that schooling, have a successful ministry, have a promotion, have a happy home, have your healing. I know you're saying what happened. The enemy robbed you of it. Yep. You yeah. believe you couldn't have it. He put a seed in you and got it. He knew somebody to tell you it's too hard. You're too black. You're too female. You're too white. You're too short. You're too tall. You're too white. You're too fat. You're too skinny. Told you that you hurt too short. You hurt too long. You're too old. You're too young. You believe all that. God can use who he want to use when he want to use it. The yep. protection's already downloaded before you were born. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. How many of you know the devil's a thing? He stood from God, people are keeping him from their destiny. If you read Exodus 7 and Luke 4, he's been trying to keep you from knowing that you are a winner. Amen. You already win. See, you got to be careful who you're fooling with. Right. Come on, you got to be careful who claim they want to be your friend, Facebook, yeah, yeah. Instagram, 
Where's that button? Where's the you know, Twitter. Um, all of those links. Everybody want to be your friend, claim want to be your friend, ain't going to be your ally just like they did in Joshua 9. Joshua was deceived. If you read in Joshua 9, all the lights were scared. Yep. And you see what all the lights got whipped except them Gibbonites. Them Gibbonites made like they want to be his buddy. They, they changed their appearance and stuff. Man, they want to be their buddy. The Israel buddy. And then double cross him. Some folks don't double cross you in your life. You gave all you could give to them, but they turn on you. See, folk will do you like that. Yep. Folk will do you just like that. The enemy is out to keep you from your peace. That is why you're about to watch it lose your mind. And that's why you're bitter and hateful and you're depressed. Because Satan messing with you. That's why you see somebody coming, a frown, come on your face. <laughs> Devil messing with you. That's why you living with folks you don't like. Mm -hmm. The devil messing with you. Amen. 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 He messing with you. You don't need the police in your house, Amen. in your school, Amen. in your church. Amen. You don't need a lawyer to tell you how to live in your house, Amen. in your church, in your school. You don't need a judge telling you how much you're going to give in the divorce court. And child support. You don't need that because you don't need them in your life. Right. That's how they messed up. They're going to tell you how to run their house. They have to probably mess up. Yep. Come on. What you need is the anointing of God on your life. Yep. To unlock the potential in your life. Yep. To understand you got to do more than what you've been doing to make things better. Yeah. Amen. 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 And you need some anointing oil really to yep. go in your house. You've been trying to fight battles naturally. And your fight is spiritual. Do you know? 90% of your battle ain't got nothing to do with your physical. Right. It's how you thinking. Yes, yes. And you don't think things through. And you think the only way you think is the only way is the only way to be thought. Right. And you live to your own understanding, which leads you into trouble. Amen. You ain't getting no good understanding from God. Amen. 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 You been fighting the wrong fight. But we wrestle not again, flesh and blood. But it gets pressed the powers and the powers of darkness. Why? And I'm going to close. It's Satan not to stop you and keep you from your potential. He knows that if you come to understand, watch this, that it's a fixed fight, you're going to put him to fight. Amen. If you ever get it downloaded in, you would open it up. That the fight is fixed. Yeah, you're in a fight, but you win. Right, 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 right. God is already won. He gave it to you when he sent Jesus on the cross. When Jesus got with all power in heaven and earth, you became a winner. Amen. Are you listening to me? You going to get all your stuff back and more of what God, what the devil robbed you of. He can't just give you back what he stole from you. He got to give you back more than what he got. Amen. You're going to get that spouse. You're going to get that house. You're going to get that money. You're going to get your peace and joy back. You're going to get that business. You're going to get your health. You're going to get your wealth. You're going to get your family. You must obey the spirit of God to awaken and unlock the potential that's in you. If you believe God is God, do what he say do. I'm through. Amen. I'm through. If you ain't going to do it right now, you ain't going to do it. Right. You got to trust God to unlock your potential. Yep. God is not a man that you lie. If he said he's going to do it, you better bet your bottom dollar he's going to do it. Bet your last dollar. And Doug Cornelius used to say, it's going to be a stone cold rattle. It ain't going to be on the soul train. Be on the gospel train. Amen. 